Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to match the graph of each line to its equation. Um, just a forewarning, if you've never looked at graphs of lines, I suggest you um, go back and watch the full length class, virtual class video on that subject where we talk about graphing lines because I'm just going to do a quick review here. So. Uh, I'll have you remember that when a line is in the y equals mx plus b form, we call that the slope-intercept form of a line, we can see the slope. So basically when y is all alone, the equation of a line is solved for y, we can see the slope. Whatever number is multiplying with x, we call it the m, is the slope. We can also see the b. The b is the number uh, that is a term that's adding or subtracting. Uh, with x, that's all I mean, adding or subtracting. And so that b stands for the y-intercept. So for example, let me look at c here. c has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 1. When you want to find that on a graph, um, you start with the y-intercept. So y-intercept where means where my line crosses the y-axis. And you can see that this green line here crosses the y-axis between 0 and 1. That looks like a y-intercept of 1. And you can also see that it, that green line has a pretty steep slope, looks like a whole number 3 kind of slope. And um, I can prove it to you though. Remember that a, a, you want slope to look like a fraction. So right now that's just a whole number 3, so I'll call it 3 over 1. So that means I'm going to rise 3 and run 1 <clears throat> Excuse me, from this point here that I laid down on my y-intercept. So going up 1, 2, 3 and over 1, you can see that does end up on my line. That is the slope of that green line. C is the green one. Let's erase this over here so I can write it on this side. So green is C. Let's do the same thing with uh, D, okay? D has a y-intercept of 3, 1, um, coming up from 0, 1, 2, 3, looks like the purple line, and then it has a slope of negative 1 third. It goes down 1 and over 1, 2, 3, and look at me ending up on that purple line. D is definitely the purple line. Okay, now let's erase all my chicken scratch all over the graph here. So we can look at the last two remaining lines. Notice that the last two remaining lines are special lines. We have a horizontal red line here, and we have the vertical blue line. Okay, so let's think about a um, y equals 3. Well, you can see here that I have no x's in this equation. I have no x's. It doesn't look like my usual form of y equals mx plus b because I have no x's. Well, we have a number for no x's. It's like I have zero x's. Therefore, the slope of this line is 0. The y-intercept, the number by itself, that 3 that's not multiplying with an x, that's going to be a y-intercept. Okay, so this time I'm crossing it 3, and I got a 0 slope, i.e. I have a flat line, you guys. Uh, clearly, A is the red line. Okay, crosses at 3, and it's nice and flat. It's not sloping at all. It has a 0 slope. Now, this one is obviously not in the slope-intercept form. Why? Because this is one of those special lines. Now, we only have one line left, so we obviously know it's the blue one, but I'll just remind you that anytime you have x equal to a number, that is a vertical line. Whenever you see x equal to a number, that is just a vertical line. So, um, x is equal to 3. You come over here on your x-axis where it's 3. You know, this is the point um, 3, 0, but here's the point 3, 1, 3, negative 1, and 3, 2, 3, negative 2. I'm on the line where no matter what uh, y is, x is always 3. So there it is. That's the blue line. Okay, let's just sum up what we did. So A is the red line. B is the blue line, C is the green line, and D is the purple line. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.